Welcome to the Slovak Vlog, a travel series where three handsome Slovaks show you the curiosities of their lovely country. Let me grab the two remaining ones, you grab some popcorn and get ready for another glorious episode. Lutko, Vlatko, wow, you really renovated the place? I don't remember it looking this nice. Wow. The door still cannot close, right? Um, look guys, uh, can you be ready in like uh, three minutes? Because uh, we have an episode to film. One minute. One, okay, that, that's, uh, that's even better. Um, I'll, just, uh, I'll just wait for you outside. You, you, you take your time, all right? <sighs> so, uh, let's begin. Finally an episode about food. We got a tip from one of our fans who said guys you have to visit this all-you-can-eat restaurant in the village of Kapushani. You can eat everything and you can drink everything for only five euros and sixty cents. We check the Lado Yebeti. Sure. Kokos. So uh, we checked the website of the place, it's called uh, Farmer's Area. The motto of the place says Drink and eat until your belly explodes. This place allegedly serves meals typical for Slovakia, so I'm very excited to, to show you what we eat here. I'm not the biggest fan of Slovak cuisine, but I'm really starving, so I'm gonna eat anything. Oh yeah, there it is. Right, let's uh, eat some Slavic food. Five fifty. That's a steal. How can they make profit out of this? So we have just one hour. Maybe that's how they make profit because you cannot just uh, stay here for, for half a day and eat everything. So we're starting off with kapusnica, a traditional Slovak soup made out of sauerkraut, smoked meat, sausages and sometimes even mushrooms. You usually eat it with a slice of bread and it's really delicious. Some people don't like it but this is one of my favorite soups. Oh. This would cost like two euros in other restaurants. Or even three euros. Yeah. So this really is a bargain. The countdown has begun. We have just one hour. Usually when you don't pay that much for a soup, it's thickened with flour and the flavor is not there, but this is a completely different story. So there's a penalty of 10 euros if you actually leave something on a plate and you don't eat it. So we may face a serious problem. All right. That was a huge portion, then a mistake. <clears throat> How much time do we have left? About 45 minutes. I think we should start off with... Uh, fried liver. Fried liver. Fried liver. I'm not a huge fan of liver. Let's try it. Mm. That's good. That's very good. I would appreciate some mayonnaise or ketchup with it, but it tastes really good. Now, the real deal. Fried cheese. Something very, very typical for Slovakia and the Czech Republic. This is the only meal that caused me to vomit twice in my life. Not because it's not delicious, but it's extremely heavy. It's basically an Emmental cheese or Idam cheese deep fried. Classic. Classic. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Fried cheese is something that you can find in every kind of restaurant. Everywhere. From low end to like luxurious ones. In Slovakia, like almost every place serves fried cheese. Let's try on Jaternica. Jaternica is basically a sausage made out of intestines, sometimes even blood, a little bit of meat, those kinds of uh, parts of a pig that are not the best ones. Jaternica. Oh. I love Jaternica. It's lovely. It's usually served with like sour, sour cabbage. Sauerkraut or 
sour cabbage salads. By the way, we cannot forget the drinks. They're unlimited here as well. Let's check it out. Soda, orange lemonade, kiwi lemonade, strawberry lemonade and cola. Seems very artificial. That's how we like it. <laughs> nice. Desserts. Okay, 35 minutes to finish this. Fried cauliflower, also very, very typical. Usually served with uh, mayonnaise. Delicious. Wow. I think your meals are, are done. Let's focus on mine. And what about mine? You're, you're the last. Why? As always. Because I'm retarded. <laughs> don't say that word. But it's Sensi true. Sensitive people from the West don't like that. So we're starting off with bipechek. It's basically a fatty part of pork. Not a lot of fat on this one. Mmm. Yeah. How can we pay the 550 for this? This fried and uh, boiled stuff is accompanied by tarhonia. Very, very popular here in Slovakia, especially in the southern parts of Slovakia and also Hungary. It comes from Hungary. So tarhonia is basically an egg-based pasta. If I had to pick my favorite Slovak side dish, I would pick tarhonia. It's so good with like meat and sauce. Yeah, it's really good with sauces. You usually spill the sauce all over tarhonia and then you eat it. Yeah, it's also very pleasant to eat these little balls that sounded strange. <laughs> Moving on to a classic Slovak sausage. The difference between a sausage and jatjarnica is that this is usually made out of better parts of the animal. For me personally, this tastes uh, better. Guys, uh, you want a piece of sausage with these balls? <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. This is like typical barbecue stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, I loved everything. It's not like I liked it, but I loved it. We're moving on to another huge classic, not only here, but also the Czech Republic, Sviečkova. It's basically a sirloin steak. This particular one may be what's called fake Sviečkova. There's nothing wrong with fake Sviečkova, although it sounds really negative. This is just like a, a, a piece of pork prepared the same way as the sirloin steak, the real Sviečkova. And it's usually spiced with black pepper, bay leaf, thyme and boiled with double cream and served with bread dumplings. Look at this. This is like also another typical thing. The bread dumpling called knedla. Very, very typical. For this Central region. European in yeah. region. Like yeah. You can find it in most of the Central European countries, but if you go to Western Europe, like it would be very rare if you could uh, yeah. find it in any restaurant. Very fluffy, usually has almost no flavor, but tastes great accompanied with any kind of sauce. So let's try the Sviečkova. I've never fancied Sviečkova. Generally speaking, it's, it's great, but I'm not a fan of this, so... I'm not gonna finish that. Yeah, please finish it. All right, so what do we have here? Chevap chichin. This is huge in uh, former Yugoslavian countries, in the Balkans. Chevap chichi, which is uh, basically this roll made out of minced meat. Look at that. And you forgot to mention that you eat this with mustard. Sometimes you even mix the mustard with finely chopped onion and accompany it with, with the chevap chichi. Great. Shout out to the Balkans. You have lovely cuisine. Only 19 minutes left. We'll make it. Another huge classic, Segedinski goulash. I think this originated in Hungary in the city of Seged. It's basically a stew made out of pork, sauerkraut, sometimes cream, and you also serve it with these bread dumplings, knedle. So we're finishing it off with, uh, with probably my least favorite meal. I really don't like Sagadinski goulash. I'm so sorry, my fellow Slovaks, but I think I will not enjoy this. No. I don't like this. I'm not a huge fan. I'm so sorry, Slovakia. You might be wondering why we have so many like uh, Hungarian food or Polish food. It's because our cuisines are mixed as we used to be like part of one uh, huge country. Yeah. 
Empire, Hungarian Empire. Yeah. By the way, our most famous dish, the Brinzove Halushki, is not included here because we've already covered that in the first episode. There's nothing more Slovak than Brinzove Halushki. 16 minutes left. We have three desserts, which I'm really looking forward to, but we need to finish this. My belly's gonna explode soon. They were right. Exactly 10 more minutes. Three, two, one. Time for dessert. Remember when we were talking about the, the Polish influence? Well, we have something called pierogi here. Huge in Poland. It's basically dumplings filled with uh, with cheese. You can go salty, you can go sour, you can go sweet. We opted for the sweet version filled with, uh, with cheese and topped with sugar. The curd cheese. Oh wow, mm -hmm. they are great. Oh, they're great. Mm. Wow, they're lovely. I'm about to explode. I'm completely full. But I'm fucking I'm, amazing. But they're fucking amazing. They're also topped with a little bit of cinnamon. Here we have something called uh, Kisnuti Kolaj. Yes. Kisnuti Kolaj. It's made out of a, a yeast based dough. So it's very fluffy and it's usually topped with uh, all sorts of fruits. Plums and sweet cheese are on top of this. Oh, look at this. Look at the color. Mm. The plums are making it um, kind of acidic, kind of sour, which is really great. And this is what usually our like grandmothers bake for like Sunday visits. By the way, if you visit grandma, a typical Slovak babushka or babička, you're gonna end up like us. Your belly will probably explode. They're very, very generous with food. So what do we have here is shishka, which is uh, basically a fried dough or, or like a Slovak donut. Mm. Oh, wow. I really love the jam. It's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. No penalty, no fine. Our bellies are, are full. Vinikajuce. Perfect. Nice. Look at this. One hour. One hour just passed. We had a lovely time here. If you're ever in the eastern part of Slovakia, go visit this place. It's mind-blowing that you get this much food of this quality for just 5.50 euros. Six dollars. Thanks for watching. Like this episode if you liked it. And see you next time. <coughs>